What's up, Sparkle Butts? Today I'm gonna to be showing you an easy, no way to possibly mess this up slime. I've tried so many different recipes for slime and I could never make it actually work, but this one works for sure, 100%. So enough with the clickbait, let's get started with this tutorial. First, you're going to need some glue. Any kind of glue that has PVA in it will work. It doesn't have to be Elmer's. Then you're gonna want at least one cup of warm water. And you will need some borax for this specific tutorial, but I know you can use other detergents. A bowl for mixing. You will need one stirring spoon, and then you will also need a half teaspoon. And of course, optionally food color, and it doesn't have to be green. First, we're gonna take our glue, and then we're going to dump the entire thing into our bowl. But of course, if you want a smaller amount, you can do that too. So now is going to be the opportune time to add our color into our glue. Uh, I'm adding four to five drops because I want it to be about a medium color. If you want it darker, you can add more drops, and if you want it lighter, add less drops. Now we're going to take our borax and we're going to grab half a teaspoon and we're going to stir it very well up until it's completely dissolved in our warm water. So now we're going to add just a little bit of our borax mixture to our glue. If you add too much, it'll make it thick like putty. So just do little by little up until it starts forming a shape. So this is the messiest part of this project. What you're going to do is you're going to take it out and you're going to knead it with your hands. It will get stuck and I recommend adding some of the borax water to your hands so it doesn't stick as much. After kneading it for a while, it should start to just come together like this and be less sticky. And as a side tip, if you feel that you added way too much borax to your slime, you can easily run this under some warm water uh, just for a few minutes up until it's the slimy texture that you would like. And then you can pretty much just add whatever you'd like to your slime. Um, in this video, I actually added a little glow-in-the-dark beetle that I got from Walmart for 97 cents. I think it's pretty cool to do that. I just added it in there because, you know, Halloween and stuff. But just use your imagination. And this is what mine looks like in the dark with the little beetle glowing in it. The glowing actually did not last that long, but I did pay 97 cents for the beetle, so it was entertaining for the hour that it lasted. And of course, you want to store it in something that's airtight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment. Toodles!